The story of Noah's Ark is one of the most well-known tales from the Bible. We know about Noah, his ark, and the animals. But have you ever wondered if there was something more to the story? What if I told you that God forbade a specific creature from entering the ark? This creature, shrouded in mystery and dread, was the Nephilim. Their exclusion adds a layer of complexity to the narrative. Join us as we delve into the story of the Nephilim and explore the reasons behind their exclusion from the Ark. The Nephilim are described as the offspring of sons of God and daughters of men. Some interpretations suggest they were fallen angels. Others believe they were powerful rulers or individuals of high lineage. Regardless of their true nature, the Nephilim are consistently portrayed as formidable beings. They are associated with violence, corruption, and the moral decay that ultimately led to God's decision to send the Flood. Their presence on Earth marked a time of great wickedness. God saw the darkness they brought with them and knew something had to be done. Genesis 6.1.4 speaks of a time when the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful, and they took as wives whomever they chose. This union between divine beings and humans resulted in the birth of the Nephilim. Their arrival marked a turning point in biblical history, signifying a dangerous blurring of the lines between the heavenly and earthly realms. Some scholars interpret them as fallen angels, while others see them as powerful spiritual beings who disobeyed God's order by intermingling with humanity. The offspring of these unions, the Nephilim, inherited extraordinary strength and stature. Described as mighty men and men of renown, they quickly gained notoriety for their power and influence. However, their presence brought with it a wave of violence and corruption that spread throughout the land. The Nephilim are often depicted as giants, their immense size a testament to their hybrid nature. The Hebrew word Nephilim itself is sometimes translated as giants or fallen ones, suggesting their imposing stature and their descent from a higher order. Their size and strength made them formidable warriors, and they soon established themselves as rulers and conquerors. They instilled fear in the hearts of ordinary humans who were powerless to resist their might. Their influence extended beyond physical domination, introducing new ideas and practices that challenged the established order. Their presence led to widespread idolatry, violence, and moral decay. The arrival of the Nephilim and the ensuing chaos signaled a turning point in God's relationship with humanity. The world, once created with love and purpose, had descended into chaos and wickedness. God, Grieved by the wickedness of humanity and the perversion of his creation, decided to intervene. The Flood, a catastrophic event of unimaginable proportions, was his response to the rampant corruption that had consumed the world. Noah, a righteous man who found favor in God's eyes, became the instrument of divine judgment and mercy. Tasked with building an ark to preserve himself, his family, as well as representatives of every living creature, Noah became a symbol of hope amidst the impending destruction. God, in his infinite wisdom, chose to exclude the Nephilim from the salvation offered by the Ark. This exclusion was not arbitrary. It was a direct consequence of their nature and the chaos they had wrought upon the world. The Nephilim, born from a forbidden union, represented a corruption of God's creation. Their immense size and strength, which had once made them formidable, now counted against them. The Ark, a vessel of limited capacity, was intended to preserve the diversity of life, not to harbor those who had become a threat to its very existence. Furthermore, the Nephilim, with their violent tendencies and corrupting influence, would have posed a danger to the other inhabitants of the Ark. God's decision to exclude the Nephilim was an act of divine judgment recognizing their role in the moral decay of humanity. The Bible is silent on the specific details of the Nephilim's demise during the Flood. However, it is clear that they, along with the rest of humanity that did not heed God's warning, perished beneath the rising waters. 
Their immense size and strength, which had once set them apart, proved to be no match for the destructive power of the deluge. The floodwaters washed away the old world, cleansing it of the wickedness that had taken root. The Nephilim, symbols of that wickedness, were swept away along with it. Their extinction marked the end of an era, a time when the boundaries between the divine and the human had become dangerously blurred. The fate of the Nephilim serves as a sobering reminder of the consequences of straying from God's path. The question of whether the Nephilim's exclusion from the Ark was a just punishment is a complex one. Some might argue that they were victims of their parentage, born into a world where the lines between good and evil had become blurred. They might say that the Nephilim, as a race, were not inherently evil, but rather products of their environment, corrupted by the power they possessed. Others might point to the violence and corruption attributed to the Nephilim in the biblical text. They might argue that the Nephilim, regardless of their origins, had chosen a path of wickedness. Their actions, they might say, merited the judgment they received. The flood, in this view, was a necessary act of cleansing, ridding the world of a corrupting influence. The story of the Nephilim and the flood raises important questions about free will, divine justice, and the nature of good and evil. The flood marked a turning point in biblical history. It was a time of both judgment and renewal. God, in his mercy, had spared Noah and his family, preserving a righteous remnant of humanity. With the wicked swept away, including the Nephilim, a new covenant was established between God and his creation. This covenant, sealed with the sign of the rainbow, represented a fresh start for humanity. The flood waters had cleansed the earth, washing away the sins of the past. God promised never again to destroy the world by flood. He entrusted Noah and his descendants with the responsibility to rebuild a just and righteous society. The exclusion of the Nephilim from this new covenant highlights the significance of obedience and faithfulness to God. The flood serves as a stark reminder that there are consequences for turning away from God's ways. However, the story also emphasizes God's enduring love and mercy, providing a way for humanity to be saved. Though the Nephilim perished in the flood, their story continues to resonate throughout the Bible and beyond. Their presence in the biblical narrative serves as a cautionary tale, a reminder of the dangers of straying from God's path and the corrupting influence of power. Even after the Flood, the Bible mentions giants and powerful beings, often associated with the Nephilim's legacy. The story of David and Goliath, for example, echoes the theme of ordinary humans confronting giants, symbolizing the struggle against seemingly insurmountable obstacles and the importance of faith in the face of adversity. The Nephilim story also found its way into extra-biblical texts and legends, passed down through generations as cautionary tales about the dangers of hubris and the consequences of defying divine order. Their presence in these stories highlights the enduring power of their narrative and its ability to transcend cultural and historical boundaries. The story of the flood, with its themes of judgment, mercy, and renewal, continues to hold relevance for people of faith today. It serves as both a warning and a promise, reminding us of the consequences of sin and the hope of redemption. The flood stands as a stark reminder that God is just and will hold humanity accountable for its actions. It challenges us to examine our own lives and to turn away from sin and wickedness. The fate of those who perished in the flood, including the Nephilim, serves as a cautionary tale, urging us to seek God's forgiveness and to live in accordance with His will. Yet the story also offers a message of hope and renewal. God, in his infinite mercy, spared Noah and his family, providing a way for humanity to start anew. This act of grace reminds us that even in the darkest of times, God's love and compassion endure.
The story of Noah's Ark, with its exclusion of the Nephilim, offers profound lessons for us today. It reminds us that God's grace is available to all who seek it, but it is not a free pass. We are called to live righteously and to reject the temptations that lead to wickedness. The Nephilim, in their pursuit of power and their disregard for divine law, serve as a cautionary example. Their exclusion from the Ark underscores the importance of moral responsibility. We have the capacity to choose between right and wrong, to resist temptation and to strive for righteousness. The flood, a symbol of divine judgment, reminds us that there are consequences for our actions. However, the story also offers hope. Noah's obedience and faithfulness serve as an inspiration to us all. The Nephilim, though relegated to the realm of ancient myth by some, continue to fascinate and inspire. Their story has found its way into modern culture, appearing in books, movies, and video games. They're often portrayed as enigmatic figures, both terrifying and alluring, embodying the tension between human ambition and divine limits. Their presence in these modern narratives often reflects contemporary anxieties about technology, power, and the nature of humanity itself. The enduring fascination with the Nephilim suggests a deeper human need to grapple with questions of good and evil, creation and destruction. The story of Noah's Ark, with its themes of judgment, mercy, and the importance of righteousness remains strikingly relevant in our modern world. We face our own challenges today, climate change, social injustice, political turmoil, and the erosion of moral values. The flood, a symbol of catastrophic consequences, serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of our world and the importance of responsible stewardship. The exclusion of the Nephilim from the Ark challenges us to examine our own hearts and to confront the forces of wickedness and corruption in our own time. Are we like Noah, striving to live righteously and to be a beacon of hope in a world often shrouded in darkness? Or are we like those who perished in the flood, ignoring the warnings and succumbing to the allure of greed, selfishness, and the pursuit of power at any cost? The story of Noah's Ark is ultimately a story of hope, reminding us that even in the face of overwhelming challenges, God is with us. The story of Noah's Ark, with its intriguing detail of the excluded Nephilim, continues to resonate with us centuries after it was first told. It speaks to timeless human questions about good and evil, judgment and mercy, and the consequences of our choices. While interpretations may vary, the core message remains potent. We are reminded that our actions have weight. The path we choose matters. The Nephilim, born from a forbidden union, serve as a cautionary reminder of the dangers of straying from divine law. Their exclusion from the Ark highlights the significance of living in accordance with God's will. This ancient tale, though steeped in symbolism, carries a timeless moral message, prompting us to examine our own lives and the legacy we are creating. Noah, chosen by God for his righteousness, stands as a beacon of hope amidst the chaos. His unwavering faith and obedience, even in the face of unimaginable challenges, serve as an inspiration for us all. Noah's story reminds us that even when surrounded by darkness, we can choose to walk in the light. We can choose to heed God's call, to trust in His promises, and to be instruments of His grace. The Ark, a symbol of salvation and a testament to Noah's obedience, represents the possibility of a new beginning. It reminds us that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds, God can provide a way forward. The floodwaters recede, the storm clouds part, a new dawn breaks. The story of Noah's Ark, with its message of judgment, mercy, and the enduring power of faith, continues to offer hope and guidance for our modern world. It's a timeless reminder that we are not alone in the storms of life. God is with us, offering refuge, renewal, and the promise of a brighter tomorrow. This is all for today. I want to thank our subscribers, members, and new faces for all your support. We are praying for you. I hope you get something positive with today's teaching. 
Stay tuned for more videos like this. See you next week. God bless you.